Dear Diary, it is October 21st, Sunday. I'm finding cool things to do with my camera, but I discover I can't add it, but I can't take it out while I'm recording. So, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I haven't recorded in like a week. I just can't believe how quickly time passes by. And every time I want to record, I am get caught up in doing other things. So this week, um, nothing new really. I was busy taking care of like the pins. So of course I signed up these pin groups to sell and I ended up buying. I'm also learning a lot of things about like scra scrapper pins, fake pins, just trying to learn so when I go trade at the park I would be careful so when I add them to my collection or trade collection I won't uh, add it bad ones basically so um and besides that uh the keto diet been doing really well I mean it's just protein and vegetables lots of it so it's not that difficult the only difficult thing is finding good fats because it's supposed to eat high fat high protein so just trying to find a healthy fat. So besides avocado, I don't really know anything else. Um, well, and like fish skin and stuff like that. But anywho, so um, I wanted to talk about what happened yesterday. So yesterday, Jerry and I went to Disneyland in the afternoon. So we took it slow. We were in a hurry. We ran some errands before we got to Disneyland. We got there around 2.30, I believe. And before that, we had lunch, and it was just protein and salad, and um, it was great, right? So, but that was around two, and usually I'd eat around noon, so I was already hungry about noon, so I had some nuts, because we found out as long as you have a controlled amount of nuts, you it's, it's okay to eat. So, I had nuts before that. Um, it was really filling. And then so 2 o'clock lunch and then 2.30 went to Disneyland and um, walked around, didn't eat anything, mainly just to trade pins, go look at pins, look like at things. The line was so long to take a picture with the pumpkin, we decided just to selfie it. Um, and also my uh, photo pass thing is not working on my app. I've uh, been dealing with that. Actually, that's something too that I've been dealing with. Been e emailing back and forth with the Disney um, customer service for now, I think two weeks, and they still haven't fixed it. So basically, I lost all my pictures. I hope not, because I really, I really love those pictures. There were some new ones, like taking with the pumpkin with our friends, and also there's all these new things that I never got to take pictures with. Um, before and like Halloween themed so that's kind of sad okay um so we walked around Disneyland and I think we left around six or seven and Jared really likes this barbecue place in Anaheim so we went got it to go as barbecue again protein and then we we're really proud of ourselves because we had a side of uh, choice of macaroon salad or regular salad and then rice so we substitute the macaroon salad and the rice for double salad. So that was really good. And on the way home, we decided to treat ourselves a sugar free icy since we haven't, I haven't eaten anything sugar free or sugar substitute um, at all in the last two weeks, maybe more. So we treat ourselves to that. We got home right before I ate, I tested and it was round, it was floating around 275, 280. I like was freaking out. I'm like, oh my god, Jerry's like, are you feeling bad or anything? I'm like, no, just tired and a little mind a little cloudy, but that's just. It's. I thought I was just tired. I didn't feel anything extra. I thought just because we walked around a lot and it was hot, so I thought that was the problem. Um, so I gave myself eight units of insulin to correct, plus two units just in case there's like a lot of sugar or something in. The, the barbecue sauce on the on on the barbecue on the meat and I ate the salad no dressing so after that we didn't even walk because I was already so tired because usually we walk after dinner didn't walk and about 10 30 I start feeling really weak usually that that feeling I know is when my sugar is low it just feels like my body's drained it feels like the energy is being drained from my my hands, my feet, my torso are just feeling really weak. And I tried, I could, like, 
I tried to stand up from the couch and I actually fell back down. I was like, JR. And like he freaked out. He bolted to the fridge because we I have a bottle of orange juice just in case. And I was like, wait a minute. I don't want to drink a whole juice, even though small. I don't want to drink it and then like be over. So uh, I had him search. So I had a piece of the Andes mint chocolate because it's just like one of my favorite. And God knows how long ago I've had it. So I was like, I'll just have one piece of chocolate. And handful of cherry tomatoes um we thought we got uh raspberries but we didn't so besides that what else did i eat oh a handful of the, uh this pumpkin cranberry crackers from trader joe's it's a very good snack because it has very pretty low um carb content for a cracker so i had a big handful of that so with the 15 minute rule, I tested 15 minutes after and, oh yeah, so I tested and it was at 58. I've never been so low, never ever. I think lows before I've been as like high 70s. So after that, um, I tested 15 minutes after that, um, I went up to about seven, mid 70s. So I was like, okay, let me eat a couple more crackers and some more cherry tomatoes. Um, I was preparing myself two i think was like two laffy taffies or something just in case um but i know i, I shouldn't take this advantage right? i shouldn't take advantage of that situation so i didn't eat it and so i waited another 15 minutes i tested it, it was around high 90s so i was like okay finally that's good enough so let's not put myself over um sadly i forgot to test before bedtime but when I woke up this morning, it was 140, low 140s, I think 144. Fine, almost mid-140s. Which is not bad considering I ate chocolate, I ate carbs, I ate, you know, I kicked myself out of keto just so I, to correct myself. Um, but just considering it's not that bad. So I've noticed... Friday night, Jared and I had that cracker, the pumpkin cranberry cracker from Trader Joe's with some cream cheese Friday night. So Saturday morning, I actually tested low 120s, if not, if I'm not mistaken, actually mid 110s. And that's very interesting because nights before that, it was 140, I mean, in the morning, fasting blood sugar was 140s. 130s 140s when I didn't eat anything so now I'm thinking maybe I forgot I forgot what the name of it is it's something effect so basically you have the really your blood sugar drops in the middle of the night so in the morning it's like climbing right so I really think I have that effect because I've shown my numbers to my old endo before and she's like it looks like it is but you're not dropping that low because I supposedly before bedtime was like around 100 or I've had before bedtime, I'm at like 1.30 already. So obviously there's nowhere to go but up from there when I go to bed. So I think what I'll do is I want to experiment having a small snack that includes protein before bed to see if that actually helps. Because I know pregnant women are supposed to eat a snack before bed because you're not supposed to go more than eight hours without food. So, I think I'll try a small amount of carbs, maybe those crackers, maybe between 5 to 10 crackers. I think 11 crackers, there's 16 grams of carbs. I have to look again. I'll post it on, um, as a picture on my page. Um, so I want to try that because I have a feeling. Um, and I forgot to, I think I forgot to mention, the only time I ever shot up that high without like after eating huge meal is last year we ran the 5k to support my knees and it was in the morning I, I did my normal insulin medication for my morning but not like because I didn't eat so I didn't need any um, fast acting insulin but afterwards we, we went to brunch and I tested I was close to 300 and I flipped out so I just feel that because my body is waiting for insulin, insulin, and I'm like basically working out or putting my body into, you know, I don't know how to explain it. So working out, 
which put my body in a state of looking for insulin and I, it's not coming. It's not going, it's not coming. And then the body went, okay, is there, she's not giving me insulin. So let me produce a lot to cover now. Plus in the future, just in case she doesn't do any insulin. Right. So I think, I mean, I'm no doctor or no researcher. Don't, it's just my person, personal opinion and guess. So I will try to have a tiny snack of a little bit of carbs at night. And if we go to this, this long walks and more than more amount than I normal, then I will have to eat a little bit of carbs. I think that's my guess. Well, I will sign off for now. Um, and hopefully experiment it for a couple more days and report back. Jiggles Mail signing off.